In our last video, we were successful in getting the frog to go in front of the vehicle and to quote unquote die and then go back to the start and come back to life again. Uh, now it's time for us to take a look at the vehicles themselves and uh, start thinking about how we're going to replicate them and where we're going to replicate them. So the where is the first question that we're going to answer right now. Um, and in this case, I would like us to edit the backdrop. And so if you go ahead and click on your backdrop again and go to backdrops over here, you can see that this is um, the area that we have selected right now. And I'm just going to make a few modifications to it really quickly. Um, you can see here that the gray box, I'm just going to um, quickly make it just a little bit darker, um, just so it, everything else is going to pop a little bit better. And I'm also going to uh, delete the two center lines that I had created at the beginning. So I'm just pressing the delete key on my keyboard once I select them. Um, and I'm going to actually create something a little bit different. I'm going to create a green grass area in the middle. And so the easiest way to do that is to click on our start. Um, and oh, sorry, I apologize. Uh, and to duplicate that. Um, or I suppose we can just copy it and then uh, click somewhere else and click paste and there it is and then we're just going to stretch that out now the nice thing about stretching out the um, green area that we already had was that we had already measured it to make sure it was tall enough to hide our frogger um, creature so now we know that we don't really need to make it any taller than that we can just leave it in the middle and then the rest of it is uh, for us to draw some white lines um, and I'm just going to go ahead and change the outline color. Uh, I think if I change the brightness, there we go. This will give me a nice white. Um, and I'm also going to increase this to somewhere around 10. Um, and I'm going to uh, hold down shift key while I do this. And that's going to give me those perfectly straight lines. The nice thing is that lines are objects in, in Scratch. so. I can later on I can use the select arrow and just select that line and then move it down or up. It's not a they're not pixels so if you get stuck with a line and you don't really like it um, as long as you're using this editor which is called the vector editor you can um, just like click on that line and I'm going oops wrong button again I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to paste it um, so that with the vector editor is really really easy to um, to duplicate pieces of a of of the the background or even costumes. Um, I'm just going to kind of select some white lines to go around each of the um, obstacles, uh, and then the one trick that I learned. Um, uh, the one trick that I learned about creating dotted lines is to just move them off the space so that they're outside of all of the other things that we're touching and then use the eraser and uh, with the eraser just come along and um, erase random pieces and you're going to get a dotted line out of this. Now the one thing I will say is that when you do erase these all of the pieces become uh, independent pieces they're all separate and they're not attached anymore so we just have to group them together again uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, choose that select and then choose group um, if you didn't already have them selected uh, then what you could do is you could choose the top arrow highlight all of the pieces of the line uh, like this and then group them together so if I was to ungroup them just so you see each of these pieces is now separated which is possibly what you had before so we can just select all of the pieces and group them together and now when I click and drag there's a dotted line that can go right perfectly there and then I can copy and paste that and move this new dotted line down to here so now as you can see over here in this window it's kind of been auto updating those things for me and so in our next video I'm going to show you how to put different vehicles into those lanes and we can start creating a more game-like feel.